Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit multiple frame rates and resolutions within Premiere in the one timeline. Let's get into it. So just recently I put a small clip together for a friend of mine. It consists of a few different frame rates and a couple of different resolutions just because a few reasons I wanted to make this video and also that the uh, moment suited. So anyway, let's run that clip. Boom. I keep down first. I see you, I evil when I converse. This how God works. Take my position with his given with no concerns. Go, 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 go. Set it out. Top of the morning, I'm gonna set it out. You live in boring, I'm gonna set it out. Shooting them scoring, I'm gonna set it out. Like soldiers torn, I'm gonna set it out. Son of God, no, I am not son of man. Blessings keep falling, the fingers keep coming in. I got you, but just know I'm texting like Uncle Sam. Now, I'm just gonna pull apart a few clips out of that video to run through. So I'm gonna use different resolutions, different frame rates, show you how I put them into the one timeline in Premiere. Let's get into it. All right, so we've jumped into Premiere. Now let's get into some clips. Now, as you can see, I've got a bunch of frame rates here. I've got 24 frames, 30 frames, 60 frames, and 60 frames. Now. These ones here that don't have audio attached to them were actually shot in 120, but they play back in 60, so uh, it'll be half speed. So then you can manipulate that down even further if you wish. Now, let's look at where we're up to. So clip number one is in 24 frames a second. Now I've chosen a 1080 at 24 frames a second timeline, so a 23.976 frames a second timeline. Now I've done that because if you're going to edit multiple frame rates in one project, you want to make sure that you're using the project is using the lowest frame rate, whether that be 24, 30, whatever. So if you're shooting in 30 frames, you're going to edit in 30 frames, you're going to export 30 frames, then you should be in 30 frames. But if you have something in, that's in there that is 24 frames a second, you need to edit in 24 frames because Premiere will try to manipulate the frames and add frames to that video. So you will end up with a clip that's really jittery. Um, and if it's only a small amount of footage that maybe that's okay, you can mask that or uh, put a couple of filters over it, make that look okay. For me, I generally edit in 24 frames. That's what um, most people watch things back in. That's what your eye sees. That's what YouTube likes whatever. Anyway, so, and 24 frames is actually 23.976 frames a second. There is also another option which is a full 24 frames. I can't see the difference, whatever. Either one's fine. Now, so this clip was shot in 24 frames. So we'll drop that in there. That's 24 frames. This clip is also in 24 frames. Yeah, so that one's in 24 frames. So we'll drop that in there. Uh, this clip is in 30 frames. Now this clip in 30 frames is actually in 4K. So we'll drop that into a 1080 timeline. And if you look here in the preview, it's pulled out a bit further, but if you drop down here, it's cropped in a bit. So there's a couple of ways to fix that. You can, you can go up here to the effect controls and you can scale it out if you wish let me so you can scale that out there it is uh, to about there because this is actually shot in a different aspect ratio um, or you can go back to 100 and you can right click on your project and you can go down here where it says scale to frame size you press that boom it's in scale to frame size this one I wouldn't do that because it has a it has a border around it because it was shot in a different aspect ratio. Uh, so what I would do is I would 
un I would right click on it again and click that box, zoom that bad boy in, or that bad girl, however you want to look at it. And then I'll pull that back to where I want it. We should probably be around here and I probably want to straighten it up too, but uh, minus one, let's try that. That looks pretty straight, there you go. Which is actually very helpful because um, my uh, horizon was not straight. Now, let's go to the next clip. This one is also in 30 frames and that is the same thing in 4K. So I'll do the same thing. I'll just pull that back a bit. Wouldn't mind that one being tight and gotta go minus one on that also. Straighten that up. There we go. The magic. Uh, and then the next frame uh, of walking. So this is in 59, this is in 60 frames a second. Playback in half speed. So this is half real life speed. So we're gonna drop that down into the timeline. This one is also in half speed. One, it's, this is actually playback in 60 frames a second. Um, we'll drop that in. And then last but not least, this one was shot in 60 frames. In, and it's played back in real time. So we drop that in too. Now, as you will notice, if you play back the, the ones that are in 30 frames a second, which is the high, high definition ones, they'll actually play back in real time. That's because Premiere is dropping frames in the timeline to give you 24 frames a second. Now, if you want it to play back in slow motion in that timeline, so you want to add frames to to your thing, so you shot it in 30 frames and the intention to slow it down in a 24 frame timeline. The way you would do that is you would go to your clip, you would right click on it, and you go up here to modify, and you go to interpret footage, and then you choose, so you go here to assume frame rate as, and you change that to 23.976, you press enter and then it actually moves your in point and your output because the clip is now longer because it's slower something you have to work out but it won't matter because it, we're not a got a specific in and out anyway and then always oh, that clip maybe it was this clip so this is actually now in slow motion so the clip part we want has moved so we'll just move that you get the idea and then same with this one so here it is here we modify interpret footage 23.976 enter I'm pressing mute on my thing because I've got a touch bar on a MacBook and I don't know how to work it and there it is that's played back in th uh, 24 frames a second now, the other thing is we can look at these ones here that are in 60 frames a second. If you are happy with the playback speed of that, that's fine, but if you wanted to slow that down a lot more, you could also go to that clip. Should we, we should probably show that before. So we'll go with the 51, which is Jazzy walking. There she is. Now, if you watch the speed on that, that's not bad. Now if we modify that, so up to here, interpret footage, we'll go down to 23 point, uh, oh, I keep touching my touch bar, 976, press enter. Now that's gonna play back real slow. Oh, and there it is. there you go that's it that's how you manipulate multiple frame rates and resolutions in Premiere in the one timeline it's all about deciding how you want to slow it down whether you want to slow it down choosing your frame rates when you shoot your footage so you if you want to shoot talking you want to shoot that in a lower uh, frame rate as 24 30 if you want to shoot something that you want it to be in slow motion, you would shoot that at a higher frame rate, 60, 120, 
depending on what your camera can do. But if I generally do talking stuff, so like right now, this video right here, this is shot in 24 frames a second because I don't plan on speeding it up, I don't plan on slowing it down. It's gonna come out in real time. As I said, that's it for me guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the, my channel because I want you to. Like this video because I want you to do that also. Leave a comment because that helps a lot to get my videos higher up in YouTube's analytics. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll subscribe to your channel. Cheers.